Hi, this is Zach OX, and today I'm going to go over real quick how to write your own properties. Um, pretty soon we're going to show how to write properties in the ActiveX control, so you're going to be writing your own control. But for now, I'm going to show you how to write a property in the, in the standard EXE form, uh, just a regular form. So we start with standard EXE, and let me unminimize that for a second. Go to view code. Now the way this works is we need to have a variable. Let's say we want to do we want to work with a number, a um, whole number, anywhere maybe 1 through 10 so we could use a uh, data type integer. And we'll just say, we'll call it um, value is integer. Let's call it new value. Now this might be a little quick, so try to pay close attention. Remember, you can ask questions. Um, first thing we're going to do is type out private because it's in the scope of this form. Property. Then it's get. Um, then your property name that you want. Uh, well, we could put whatever. You don't really need to put um, a prefix here because this is a property just like on your left here. Or excuse me, on my right. On my right here. Um, this is properties for form one. And as you can see, caption is just labeled caption. It's not string caption. Um, and then it's just the string inside. So we'll label this new value. And then you have to have um, what kind of data type it is. Um, this is an integer. Okay. Now, this is where we want to get the property value. So, um, new value, excuse me. Yeah, it's new value. New value equals int new value. Um, so, we're setting this property to equal this variable. Um, the data types match, which they're supposed to. Okay, integer and integer. Now, we need a let or set statement. Now you have to use by val here, and I'm going to explain this and show it here. Let's just put different value. That's going to be you have to put the same data type again. Okay. Um, you don't have to put as integer right here because this is almost like declaring your property, um, your new property. So it's as integer right here. Um, so this you don't need to put as integer, but the parameter in here, what we're going to reference to, has to be the same data type as these two up here. Um, using by valve because we can't change the int uh, different valve. I believe you can just get rid of this. But properties usually everybody leaves this in, so we'll leave that in there. <clears throat> so now we have to change the variable because we got a new property. That's what's happening. This is getting the property, but if we get a new property, this is what's going to happen. So, then we have to tell it it's equal to the new um, value that we get from somebody. So it's a different value. We just call it int different value right here. Um, so what happens is when the property changes, it's going to get a value and it's going to pass right here first. Um, so this is where it's going to be with a new value. New value will come in and get changed. The excuse me, the variable will get changed to the new value. So now, that's all we do for now. So we go down, let me make this a little bigger. Oh, whoops, I don't want to hit the X on that. Now I'm going to put a little timer. and show you how this can be useful for now. 
Um, so we've got the timer. Double click it. Timer's down here. Okay, good. Maybe we want to know any time that you change this this value um, or this this data type right here, this variable. Excuse me, the variable. Um, what you do is any time it does change, it's going to be in the let new value um, or the let statement. Excuse me, let property. Um, so what we're going to do here is show a message to user, but instead of message box, we're going to use debug. Uh, print. Reason being is because I'm going to use a timer. It's going to print the new value that we will be seeing. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we need a form load. Or actually, it's equal to zero, so we'll just do that. In the form load, you could set your um, new value to equal something at the beginning. But here I'm just going to show, since it's equal to zero, initialize at zero. We're just going to use it here. Um, change new value. So we're going to go um, new value is equal to zero. So I'm going to do if new value equals zero, then new value equals one. Else new value equals zero and if so what this is going to do is the timer is going to go off and at the very first time it equals zero it's going to equal one as the property changes this new property right here new value changes um, it's going to run through the let and it's going to say oh the value changed because I have the debugged up print here um, this is great if your value ever changes and you want code to go off, you have a property for it um, so that you can run code right in it. Um, you don't have to write code every time you change the value. So I wouldn't go new value and write more code. New value, the call statement. Don't have to because I have a property. <clears throat> it's a little sick this morning, but let's keep going. Um, so What we're going to do here is just go ahead and run it. So we'll go here. Now watch down here. Um, that's not supposed to be happening. All right, let's go back. Maybe I missed something. I remember. Got to turn the timer on. Click on the timer. There's no interval. We'll set to one second. One second would be 1,000 milliseconds in this interval because the interval is by milliseconds. Okay, let's go ahead and push play now. And now it's working. See down here in the debug window, um, we see zero, one, zero, one. So as you can see, this is really cool. Um, our property, as it gets changed, uh, code runs off with it. Um, pretty soon when we get to creating our own control, there is some other property um, subs that you're going to have to know um, saving to a property bag but for right now this is just within the form so you don't have to worry um, this is the format for writing the property it's the get so you can get the property but it has to be a variable in most cases um, and then uh, the let which is when it changes um, if it was an object instead of let you will be using set and down here you would use um, set the uh, variable up here that you had equal to the new variable that you have here now remember these data types have to match um, or else you're going to have some problems so that's how you do a property for now um, within a form and thank you.